OK, using the graph above, explain the adjustment that was made to the X-ray tube. The intensity for line B is lower than A, but the F max is not changed. This indicates that the current applied across the cathode has reduced. When less electrons are boiled off the cathode, less electrons per unit time cross the X-ray tube, which results in less electrons hitting the target metal and therefore less X-rays being generated. If I got a point for writing less, I'd get a lot of points. There's also a key term here where I've written boiled off. That's kind of a technical term used with X-ray tubes where they release the electrons from the cathode and in doing so they actually heat the cathode up to make the electrons easier to release across the tube itself. So this is an example of presenting you the intensity frequency graph and making an alteration to it and seeing if you understand what's going on. More often than not, A would be down the bottom and B would be up the top and you'd have to say, oh, they've increased the current. But in this case, they've done it the other way around. So you've always got to be on the lookout for taking the theory and maybe asking a question that you'd expect the other way around. When you're in exam conditions, this can be difficult. That's why it's important to practice as many exam questions as you can.